Welcome. In the following video, we're going to look at the lab procedure for the molar mass of butane lab. You have a lighter, a tub full of water, a thermometer, a graduated cylinder, and an electronic balance. You're going to measure the initial mass of the butane in a lighter. Actually, you're going to measure the whole lighter. And then you're going to bubble the butane into a graduated cylinder in a setup that looks like this. You're going to start by getting the temperature of the water. You need to measure it down to the tenths of a degree, so you need to read between the lines. You'll also be given the atmospheric pressure in the room from th the day's weather information. You need to include the units, too, because they come in different units. The thermometer is in the water so that you can get the water temperature. Remember to read between the lines. We also need the initial mass of the lighter. You have to start that before you put the lighter in the water. Make sure that the lighter is completely dry. Blow on it uh, and everything to make sure. Next, submerge the graduated cylinder into the water. Do it slowly and make sure that it fills with water completely so that there's no air trapped in there because we want only butane in the graduated cylinder. Tip it up and keep the end under the water so that the, no air gets in and check to make sure that there are no bubbles. Next, you're going to put the lighter underneath so that when the bubbles come out, they'll be trapped in the graduated cylinder. When they come out of the lighter, you want to catch all of the gas, so don't push the button before you put it in the water. Now, make sure that if your hand gets tired, you don't accidentally let go of the lighter, or this might happen, and then you're going to have to start over. There's no way to get that lighter out of there without lifting the graduated cylinder out of the water and then you have to dry it, reweigh it, and start completely over. As you collect the gas, you can see the bubbles here going up into the graduated cylinder. Keep collecting until you get close to about 95 milliliters. Remember that the graduations are upside down. When you get to about 95, you can stop. It's only necessary that you know exactly what you have, not that it be exactly some specific number. Now you can lift the graduated cylinder up and you can see that the water level could be a little above or a little below the water level in the tub. You want it exactly the same as the water level in the tub. That guarantees that the pressure is the same. In the left hand drawing, the water level inside and outside of the cylinder are the same. But in the middle and right drawing, the water level is not the same, and that will result in the pressure in the cylinder being different from the pressure in the room. We need to make sure they're exactly the same, and then we need to read right on the line. Make sure that you're reading between the lines in the graduated cylinder to record to the nearest tenth of a milliliter if you can. When you're finished, and after you've recorded your data, you can put the graduated cylinder back into the tub for the next class. Now you need to get the final mass of the lighter. In order to do that, you need to make sure that the lighter is dry. So give it a little shake to get the water drops off. Dry it with a paper towel. Blow on it. Check all the little cracks. Blow in there to make sure that there are no drops hiding. Because we don't want any mass of water. We want the mass of just the lighter so that we can subtract and get the amount of butane that came out of it. When you're finished, continue the calculations on the paper. You're going to get the total mass of butane, and you're also going to use Dalton's Law to calculate how much the volume, or pardon me, the pressure of the dry gas is. Remember, the butane is bubbled through water, and when it bubbles through water into the graduated cylinder, the gas that we collect is not just butane, it's also water vapor. So we need to subtract the pressure of the water vapor, which we can look up in a table since we know the temperature. Now, with the data that we've got, the butane, we've got its volume, its pressure, and its temperature, so we should be able to calculate moles with the ideal gas law. Once we know the moles of, from the ideal gas law, we can use the mass from the lighter and calculate the molar mass of butane, which is the entire point of this lab. 
You can then calculate it from the periodic table and compare your answer with the one from the periodic table and see how accurate you really are. Now, there are some problems that could arise. For instance, if the butane was soluble in water, we'd have a problem because we wouldn't be catching all the butane. Some would be dissolving. In that case, we'd use some liquid other than water. Fortunately, butane isn't very soluble in water, so that's not a problem in this lab.